Hey, welcome to What's the 314, where we give you the scoop on what is happening in and around the city of St. Louis. I'm your host, Angela Hockman. What's up, Angie? And you already know who it is. I go by the name of Draco, and we have an amazing show lined up for you today. Always, always, Draco. It's so much fun to sit and have our interviews. But guess what? Before we get to them, what's up? I want to hear what's going on with you. I haven't seen you in a while. All right, listen, I'm I'm good, man. Family is good. My baby girl's getting big. She's two and a half, like you like to say. She's two and a half going on three. I should say going on 21. Going on, exactly. Yeah, she's starting school. Look, daddy is amazing. I'm excited. I'm excited. She's been in school for a minute. Uh, and I'm working on new music, man. Oh, can yeah. you give us a teaser? Come on, I'm I mean, I fan. would, I would, but you know, it's on my phone and it's kind of raw or like new. So when it's out, I got you. Okay. I think I heard it driving it. into the yeah, studio. I heard can the listen bass. To it after this. You know what I'm saying? It's so, gonna be my pump up music for yeah, like, I know. you know, it's my walk up song. Any anytime someone asks, like, what will your walk up song be if you're on the Cardinals? I say, gold Go play it. Hey, who you with? That's her My jam. My favorite Draco jam. That's her jam, man. Enough with me, though. What's up with you? Uh, wait a minute. Hold up. Wait a minute. I don't want you guys to think that she's beautiful, obviously, but um, you wouldn't know she just had a baby. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Baby Beckham, LaRocca Hockman, is in the house. Say that Literally, every time. my house, he's not here. Oh uh, yeah, it's <laughs> sweet. Have, having one, you know, as we know, it can feel a lot. Yeah, yeah. Uh, having two feels like a, a circus. <laughs> but like the best circus. That's what's up, Superwoman over here. It's, I mean, stop. Oh, is my cape in the way? No, I mean, you know, sh brush it off. <laughs> brush that cape off, because having two, I'm telling you, I have one, I, you know, I haven't had two. I yet. mean, parents, working parents, we should get gold stars. Oh, that's facts. I'm gonna that's give it facts. to her. That's facts. But anyway, well, uh, anyway besides you and the family growing, what else been going yeah, on with you? Yeah, golly, I feel like, you know, getting through winter, yeah. New Year's was a good time. Of course, it's different with kids because you're like, woohoo, are we going to stay up till nine or 10? Right. But it's okay. <laughs> it's all right. Yeah, I'm, no, excited. I'm excited. Yeah, no, I get excited for things like, you know, spring training, when mm. the Cardinals are coming, and just, I don't know, our world kind of centers around sports for obvious reasons. And here we are. You already know. So I just wanted to make sure that everybody know that she has grown her family, still looks beautiful. Okay, all right, Thank come you, on. Draco. <laughs> But let's get down to business. I could hear compliments all day, but I won't. Um, <laughs> so did you know that to most people around the world, mm -hmm. March 14th, mm -hmm. okay, is just known as Pi Day. Like pie that you eat or like math? No, I'm not Ooh, like good at math. math. I'm good at counting money, but I'm not good at math. I know, I know. Okay. I feel, me neither, I don't do <laughs> numbers like that, gross. But starting in 2006, mm -hmm. a couple St. Louisans decided to start the day, as we know, 3-1-4. Four day. Okay. Way more fun than Pi Day. So, Draco, do you know who started 314 Day? I mean, listen, day? I know who started 314 Day, but I think we you have tell to make him? sure. No, I'm gonna let I'm gonna let them find out. I'm gonna let them find out later on, okay? Wait, but I do know. Okay. Okay. It is a movement. I'm not kidding you. This is not just a day. And I kind of wish the whole rest of the world would celebrate the way we would. But you know what? It's our city, it's our area code. I feel 314 you. Day. I feel you. And you know, we cannot have a show called What's the 314 and not really get to know the whole scoop behind 314 Day. So Draco's gonna share that with us a little bit later. That's right, so later in the show, we will have that 314 Day amazing historical standpoint for you guys. And we might have some special guests as it pertains to 314 Day. Yeah, we're just dropping little cliffhangers all you day feel here. Me? This is great. So listen, we're gonna take a really quick break. Don't go anywhere, don't think about it. Don't even get a snack yet. We're gonna be right back because we have the founder of the Romans 12 nonprofit coming up next. Okay. Hey, welcome back. 
So, you know, St. Louis has hundreds of nonprofit organizations aiming to help those in the area. And today we are very lucky to have one of the founders of Romans 12 Outreach Ministry joining me in studio to discuss how this organization is really making a difference with young people desiring to become entrepreneurs. Now, Romans 12 has a big event on March 2nd, okay? You will learn how to build business credit in 90 days at this event. Now, here to tell us more about not only the event, but the organization as a whole is the lovely Candace Dorsey. Candace, how are you? I'm doing great. Thanks for having me. I am delighted to sit and talk with you. We've got a lot to cover. So first of all, talk to me about Romans 12 Outreach Ministries. You and your husband founded this? Yes, we did. What is the organization? What's your mission statement? Hit me with everything. <laughs> well, Romans 12, our mission is to help young adults in our community. Uh, right now, we're offering business classes for free for ages 16 to 21. Oh, wow. Barely out of that bracket. But <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But so can, can adults, you know, sign up too? Is adults different? can also take the class. They have to give a donation, but we use the funds from that donation to help pay for the classes for the young adults. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. That's cool. So are these different programs that happen throughout the year? Do you, I know you're somewhat new, so sort of what does it look like to get involved? So right now we're hosting one class a month. Okay. Uh, we have limited seats and they, they will learn different parts of the program. So first you'll learn about business startup and we'll help you get your LLC, teach you how to get your EIN number, getting an operating agreement, and just make sure you have all the documents that you need to start a business bank account. And then we also have marketing, financing, budgeting, um, and building business credit in 90 days. That is amazing. That's some big kid stuff. Yes. It's like, I feel like all of the, you know, econ classes and business classes kids might take at that age up yes. until that point, you don't learn all those things. No. And to have someone in a small setting, like you said, seats are limited. Mm -hmm. um, and it's just like a safe space to ask those questions yes. and to really get kids thinking big. Yes, it is. It is. And you are an entrepreneur as well. Can you talk a little bit about, um, I don't know, the 220 Eye Candy <laughs> Beauty Bar? Well, I also own 220 Eye Candy Beauty Bar. It's located at 6823 Manchester Avenue. And there we offer services such as massages, facials, lash extensions, waxing, foot detox, and more. Oh my gosh. Teeth white. Teeth white. Okay. <laughs> Gotta have those teeth pearly white for the cameras. Yes. So wait, so talk about the correlation between the two. When people are a customer at the beauty bar, mm -hmm. what happens to some of those profits? 10% of all of the profits that we make at 220 Eye Candy Beauty Bar, we donate to Romans 12 Ministry, which is how we're able to fund these classes for the youth right now. Oh, wow. So Candace, this is a big endeavor that you and your husband started. Yes. Why did you start it? You're, I mean, you already own a business. I know it is a lot to get a business <laughs> up and going. It is. Do you both just have just a heart for giving and helping the youth? Yes, what made you do. jump? We both you have a heart for uh, helping others as well as for children, young mm -hmm. adults and seeing them do well. We both have, um, teenage daughters between the age of 17 to 20. So the same skills, the same information that we've given them that's helping them along the way, we wanna also give that to the other young adults in the community as oh, well. That's awesome. That's really, really <laughs> cool. Um, so I'm so curious about this event on March 2nd. Is it sort of a lineup of different speakers? Cause you have a lot of different elements, everything from the LLC to the marketing. Yeah. Are these different professionals you bring in or are you the one-stop shop and you teach so it all? Right now we're the one-stop shop, but we are hoping that as we grow, we'll be able to get other speakers and other people to come in and teach as well. So right now it'll just be my husband and I teaching this class. That's a what a great partner. I know, I love it. Teach. You can tell, <laughs> you can tell. That's amazing. So since it's been open, have you had any like aha standout moments? Like you really helped someone or you felt so fulfilled when fill in the blank happened? Well, definitely when we just had this last business class, um, one of the students after kind of did like a video review and he sent it to me and he was just telling me how helpful it was and how he tried to start a business before and he didn't have any knowledge. He just kind of jumped in there 
and he made so many mistakes. And after taking our class, he realized that he didn't have a business plan and he didn't really take the time to map it out. And now he feels confident with getting his business started again. So oh I said, this is what we're, what we're here to be doing. Yes. 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 What validation that is so <laughs> heartwarming. Um, and what might you offer to say your younger self? When you were that age, were you even thinking like an entrepreneur? I've always had an 16, entrepreneurial 17? spirit. Uh, hit the candy store at the house where kids would come buy candy for me. And just, I've always tried to have some type of business, but the knowledge that I have now that from bumping my head along the way, I wish I would have had that when I was younger. I feel like I could have went so much further faster. So that's why it's important to instill that in the young entrepreneurs so they don't make those same mistakes and have to go through what we went through. Right, right, exactly. Yeah. You're like, oh, I did this thing when I was your age. I don't want you to do it, so follow me and we'll, yeah. we'll handle it. So yeah. wait, I gotta back up. You had a candy store as a young entrepreneur. Uh -huh. Now your <laughs> shop is called 220 eye candy. <laughs> I mean, it's all coming full circle, Candace. Yes. That is awesome. So what, what else do you want people to know about Romans 12? And most importantly, how can people get involved? Okay, so Romans 12 Ministry don't only offer classes to the young adults. That's just our main focus at this time. But we also have another um, program that we want to start called Cheerful Givers. And what we do is during um, the holiday seasons, we'll go out, we'll feed the homeless. And we have these things we make called blessing bags. And inside the blessing bags, we'll have items they need like hand sanitizer, hygiene items, and and things like gloves, that hats, whatever we can get that people would donate. We could put them in these bags and we could just pass them out to people that we see or go to homeless shelters and pass them out. So that's the next program that we're really trying to get up and going. And to get involved, um, they can people can contact us at www.romans12ministry.org. And through that website, you can make donations or you can contact us to drop off any items that you would like to donate as well to Fantastic. help with the cause. Wow, what an incredible selfless organization. You can tell that <laughs> you are just, you want to help people so badly and you're doing it. You're not just Thank talking you. about it. I think that really sets you apart and Romans Thank 12 you. is really going to go a long way. Thank you, I appreciate that. <laughs> oh, Candace, it's been really inspiring to sit and talk with you. Now I'm thinking like, oh, should I start a business? Can I come in? <laughs> we gotta talk out, yeah, because yeah. I'm very, very interested, very curious. You're doing great things for the youth. Um, thank you so much for visiting us, Candace. And if you would like any additional information about with the Romans 12 Outreach Ministry and all of the fantastic work that they're doing, just visit Romans12Ministry.org or give them a call, 314-406-7963. But don't go anywhere. Don't even think about it. We're just going to take a super quick break, but then we will be right back after this. back to what's the 314 i go by the name of draco now listen i have some special guests in the building and we can't have a show called what's the 314 without even speaking to the founders of 314 day it's only right right so i want to make sure that you guys while you're at home you're driving whatever you're listening to it let's clap it up because we have the founders of 314 day my guys tatum polk and young dip what's going on y'all how y'all feeling man good 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 hold on real quick real quick do it, real do quick it. real quick let them know it's your boy turned the big four so it's just dip that's okay, my new instagram okay. name just dip 314 we're gonna do a big drop into the young dip party whatever yeah we're gonna do it on that type of time but i'm grown oh. yeah man i'm grown man y'all yeah, oh, called me mr dip out there man y'all <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, but yeah, yo, big look, deal. Good jeans, man. That black don't crack. Tell me, tell me about it. Yeah, you gotta drink your water and stay out the, the gallery, way. Man, right? dog, hey, to the little girl that caught me at the gas station <laughs> that could be my kid, stop playing with me. <laughs> no, but thank y'all for, uh, first of all, coming and hollering us at what's the 314. Um, so I want to touch right into it. So we talking about 314 Day, which we know at home, 
this is a staple. This is a foundation for us. This is love. I remember when I was young, 314 Day was like the Mayday Parade when I was coming up. You know what I'm saying? So um, I really want to start about the foundation, how you, Tatum, and of course you, Dip, how did you guys even come about with the 314 Day concept? Gotcha. Well, I'll, let, I'll let Dip start with that one. Well, I mean, you know, um, we didn't put the story out a couple of times, man, but it, like, it's, it, it was just literally one of those, like, you know, it started with, with me doing like my marketing promotions. Bro was always, you know, uh, uh, backing me on just different things. He gave my first endorsement when he was, you know, uh, when he was running the Pimp Juice brand and all that. And I just had my little black book and we just going over some ideas. I'm like, hey, bro, what you think about this? And he was like, up. Oh. And he do what he do. It was funny. We was talking the other day to somebody. He was like, dang, he just gets right to it. And that's, you know, that's what happened. And I think, you know, from then on out, and, you know, everything just snowballed. Like, we, the first year was, was success. The second year, we went to the moon with it. And we realized, we were like, oh, hold on now. Like, we might yeah. be 10 years ahead yeah. of time. We was at Bush Stadium the second year. Wow, bro. It's party ever at Bush Stadium. And that we was did. 07, second year? Because you started in 06, right? Yeah, so it was started in 06 and then, no, I started in 06, right? Because we was talking about, he's like, hey, bro, I think your math out. I was like, nah. <laughs> I actually started, when I started it, I never put anything out. I didn't bring it to bro until, what was that, 07, and then we. No, that don't sound right either. Yeah, it's one. Of them. <laughs> That's that 40, that 40 I remember kicked in. I quick. was in high school, like, I was a, I don't know, it was like freshman or sophomore in high school when it was like going like I, I kept hearing about 314 day you know what i'm saying so yeah it yeah. was it was one of those man it was one of them black book things that i came up with and i let it sit for a minute and came back to it so yeah but as long as it's here though now yeah, right? it was yeah. awesome. it's awesome when it's getting picked up in other so our citywide city pride type of deal is getting picked up all over the country you know what i mean you got houston picked it up uh, Chicago, we just talking, arguing with somebody about Chicago this morning on the radio station. The, the PD is from mm -hmm. Chicago, and he was uh, talking yeah, about it. Yeah, yeah. And uh, he's like, oh, no, I remember we had 312. No, Not okay. until after. <laughs> Bro, yeah, I know yeah, for sure for we sure. had, you know, yeah. So, <laughs> but, no, it's all good. It's all love. As long as people as as taking care of their homes, you know what I mean? And it's good that you guys are expanding outside of St. Louis, but of course it started as 314 Day, but now in consecutive years it's been like a week celebration since 2024 is going to be 314 week you can say you know what i'm saying so with the activations that you have there's been big activations beforehand what are you guys looking forward to in the future because i also want to talk about this inaugural art design that y'all did for 2024 which was dope so um what are you thinking about for the activations for this year this year was really intentional for us to get the kids involved you know what i mean um young dip turn 40 so he's a no he's on now so so what the reality was it was really it was important for us to get the kids together yeah you know what i mean because at some point we got to pass the torch right? right and so uh we want to leave it better than we got it and we want them to take it and take it to the next level you know what i mean because really i heard something about reverse mentorship and it's like let us go back and get these kids to help mentor us and how this new age look and what that looked like so i'm looking for some mentors myself reverse mentorship and I'm, I'm pretty excited, man. We teamed up with the mayor's youth cabinet, man. And, you know, them guys, they've been working real hard. Like, I'm really excited about what they put together. I want to, you know, uh, tease some of the things for them right now. But just know that, you know, the the, the youth is coming through and coming through yeah. strong this year on 3 on 4 There's going to be a lot of activations for them, man. Um, just shout out to the whole, you know, y'all will see them in a minute. Like, it's, it's, it's they really at it, man. And we letting them, you know, they do their thing and we the machine that's going to, you know, help get and it going. Producing it from top to bottom. Top to bottom, bro. Wow. Yeah. yeah, I can't wait. I can't wait for that. You know, I'm all about that. So yeah. they creative, man. man they oh, yeah. Are, bro. yeah. They have a really like a futuristic mindset. You know, sometimes with us, we was like, okay, we're going day to day, but they thinking like light years ahead. Yeah, so yeah. that's gonna be good that you have even that reverse mentorship concept is gonna be dope, especially having them have the reins yeah. and take hold that three and four day is gonna go crazy. Man, so these young kids, man, some of them, man, we doing like this this uh youth expo with you know young business owners man and they was like man some of these kids got 10 12 businesses already mm -hmm. like you know and i'm and just looking at it, it's because of you know where times is and then like they not playing like they're not gonna play with you like they like I always was excited about the youth uh coming up now in this generation because i knew they was gonna be the warriors man like they they passionate like you know they got their info like you gotta really show them bro. like right. that show me now is like to them like you have to show them bro. Like, i got a question so how did you all execute like you said you had the black book and it was a good idea but a lot of times ideas can fall short you know what i'm saying you have a passion project or something like that how did you all execute that because i think that's important for not only the youth who's going to be partnering with you guys mm -hmm. but for people like us who have three on four day in our hearts you know what i'm saying like how did you execute that to really bring it to the forefront 
well, first for me is always about outlining your full project, right? And there's going to be opportunities for you to pivot along the way. Things aren't always going to go right, like for sure, yeah, right? Uh, but okay. if, you're, if you are unavailable to pivot, you'll be stuck, right? Um, part two of that is, I mean, we talk about it all the time, is it took us years of branding something before people even understood it. I still get people today like, so what day is it on? I'm like, man, this is going to be, you right. know, it's hard, right? Yeah. So mm-hmm. we did that for three or four years. And, and in the marketing world that I come from, it takes you, somebody 20 times to see something before they're really interested right. in, in picking it up. Yeah. So don't give up. You know what I mean? Whatever you do, if you're steadfast in, in your faith, just keep working it, keep working it, keep working it, keep showing up. Uh, what Jay-Z say, just keep coming. Keep oh, showing Until they call you CEO. Absolutely. And you're talking about, oh, go ahead, go yeah, ahead. My, and my thing, like, you know, keeping the right people around you. Like, you know, like this guy right here, bro, like he's been, you know, like in my corner on a lot of stuff, bro. Like, like it's good to have somebody like one thing about me and I always joke about like we understand each other's language. Like I like he has a brilliant mind, bro. And I be far off. And like when I talk to him, I you know, I bring an idea. He be like, oh yeah, that's dope. So you trying to do this, this, this in the third and he'll finish it. And I be like, okay. So like you 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 keep the your circle, like keep the right people around you, man. And like them dreams and them ideas, man, you never know where they'll go. Like, so I appreciate this man right here. Yeah, absolutely. I already know. I already know. And I want to go back to what you mentioned, um, of course, you with the branding. So with the 2024, you all have an inaugural design competition yeah. that you all partnered with STMA with. With um, Shout out to, I guess you could say the winner. You know what I'm saying? I, that was my homegirl, too. And she she got a, she's she's oh. a really good artist. Oh. You know what I'm saying? So how did that come about? I'm from St. Louis. I know. It's all right. We let her in, though. Yeah, you let her in. Let her yeah. in. <laughs> you let her in, yeah. man. But I want to see how you all came about with that idea for having that artist design contest because that's a big thing because it's going to last past 2024 yeah so for us we know that there's so many parts of st louis that aren't highlighted and 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 that you know a lot of times you think of the arts you think about nelly blah blah blah, but there's so many other things and people that aren't recognized and so when we saw this design uh it was super cool we saw but you know man a lot of st louis stuff in it Uh, but we said man we should probably get other people an opportunity to do that Mm -hmm. um, and become recognizing for what they do and what they do great. And so we didn't give them a whole lot of limitations on what what St. Louis felt like it meant to them. And then we we got hundreds of submissions and we'll get hundreds every year, but that's a great opportunity to, to kind of be seen across the region and recognized. Yeah, Shout out to all the artists that submitted too, man. Like we literally set and went through <laughs> everything. Yeah, really. man. Yeah, yeah, man. Listen, everything, bro. Like, we really, we, because, you know, not only is we, you know, giving these artists exposure and stuff, but we also creating relationships and, you know, ways to where, you know, uh, we partner with them out, actually. Mm-hmm. You know, they get a percentage of, you know, some of the, uh, the merchandise and stuff. So, like, I'm, one thing, bro, used to always say, and I used to take it and pick it up, like, we, our thing is to throw the ultimate live to everybody. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, to where, you know, they can come in, slam dunking and, and keep it moving. And I seen I seen the yeah, ultimate live when that. you guys actually started the contest. It was of course um, like fall of 2023 right. when it actually uh, came about. But with the stipulations that you all had was amazing. But again, it was like you can get certain things from it. It wasn't right. just like you have your art displayed. Mm-hmm. You got a stipend for it. You know what yeah. I'm saying? You can partner for future events. So, and I think that's so important to have, especially with 314 Day, the foundation, and the week sure. to have that inclusion you know what i'm saying so i just want to make sure that people know uh first of all where they can find 314 day foundation of course i know but yeah. they need to know where they can find it and then what we're going to be looking forward to coming in march sure so definitely our website will be launching on 314 day this year and we'll be taking donations and stuff because we do a lot with scholarships from college down to uh, charter schools we'll, we'll be sponsoring a lot of that stuff going forward um we got a lot going on this Man. year, but in the week, like you said, it is like a week this year. Yeah, for sure. Um, it fell on a Thursday. We weren't really sure. This is our first time kind of figuring it out. But we've had major events. Ballpark Village was on a Tuesday last year, if you remember. Hey. And it went wall up to wall. On a Tuesday. And Ballpark Village gave us their Tuesday staff, right? Thinking Whoa. that it was like, oh, it's gonna be Tuesday. Right. It's not gonna be that. We needed a Saturday stay. Yeah, <laughs> but it was water walk. Now they know. Now they know. Right <laughs> now, St. Louis knows. So it's um, STL Made has done a great job partnering with them and Greater St. Louis partnering with them to make this thing a regional deal. Yeah. Uh, the vision that we had 16 years ago is really is really taking off, and I, I mean, look forward to seeing where it goes from here. Yeah.
What you think, Dip? How you? Man, I'm ready, man. Like okay. you see us, like I told you, I came in, man. We we fresh out from working, bro. Like we have, <laughs> like since last year, for real. Like you know, I ain't gonna come in like this. Yeah. You trying to style on me a little oh, bit? Man. Shout out to baby girl that yeah. did that hoodie yeah, too, yeah, bro. She, she did cold. Good job. Hey man, you got three on four all on you. You see the brim. You know what, what I'm saying? That's the first got, thing. You as long see. as I got a couple of tats, I'd right. be like, that's Ash, but don't show that. <laughs> Blur it out, child. Don't do me like that. But, hey, uh, listen, man. I want to make sure that you guys tap in the way you need to tap in when it comes to three one four day. Not only for the activations that's happening in March, but also the foundation of course that's the most important thing so we want to make sure we keep this going um so again make sure that you tap in because it's going to be an amazing week any words that you want to give to them to get them ready for 314 day man i would say get start sleeping early <laughs> march because yeah. early march mid, yeah mid march gonna be is ours right yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. like really like y'all <laughs> see like it's it's yeah this year is that like it's always that and then we like, look for volunteers and people that also you know we look for different ideas uh, we have committees across throughout the year uh, 314 day is one day but we talk about the other 364 days that are important to creating what st louis looks like yeah uh, we've never had a violent crime on 314 day mm. in 15 years that we've been around um, so we look forward to keeping that around and we're looking forward to curbing some of that that we see this year so um we need some civic pride, and, and I mean, we appreciate everybody who's taking interest in 314 Day and uh, helping it grow too, for sure. Always, man. Well, it's a pleasure, of course. I love yeah, to talk to y'all, of course, on oh, camera and off camera. Anytime. So, anytime. Thank y'all so Anytime. much, man. Appreciate man, my you. guy, yeah. my guy. Yep. My boy. Appreciate you, Big Four. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, we're going to be right back, man. Y'all, so make sure y'all stay tuned to what's the 314, and it's only 314 because look, the founders man, are here. Yes, 314 Day, all right? Y'all. See you later. Thank you so much for keeping it right here to What's the 314 on STL TV. We had such a fun show today. So let's talk about this. So we're talking about building business credit in 90 days. That was dope. Yeah, hello. You know Thank saying? you so much to Romans 12 Outreach Ministry. March 2nd, pencil that in. That is when that event is going down. So building business credit is kind of different from personal credit. No, That's what absolutely. I kind of learned, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. okay, I like that. I know. I want to sit in. I'm like, am I out of the age bracket? I don't right. know. Oh. <laughs> in 90 days, too? You got to be clutch. Candace, let me sit in. You got to be clutch to have it in 90 days now, man. And how about you? You hey, have listen, some fantastic my guests. Guys. My guys, 314 Day, I can't wait. You already know it's a holiday when 314 Day hits. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And not only is it going to be one day, it's going to be an entire week, of course. So Incredible. it's a lot of things that's going to be lined up. And shout out to my boy, Tato Polk and Young Dip for mm -hmm. coming through, showing some love, man. I always love when y'all come through, man. Y'all friends of the family, you already know. Mm hmm But gosh, Draco, I feel like... It's about that time. I hate this time. I hate it so much. I hate it too. I hate it too. Oh. Unfortunately, we know we out of time, but we'd like to thank our guest, of course, Miss Candace Dorsey with Romans 12 Outreach Ministry, my guy Young Dip and Taylor Polk with the 314 Day Foundation for being with us today. And thank you at home for joining us as well. What's the 314 cannot be that without you guys. Absolutely not. Draco said it best. And yes, true, the show may be over. But don't worry, okay? Turn that frown upside down. You can find <laughs> us on Facebook, Twitter, or X, as the kids call it, uh, Instagram, YouTube, or visit the website, stltv.net. That's gonna do it. I forgot about X. I'm still on Twitter, but anywho. <laughs> You're okay, my listen. space and you know right, it. Right, right. <laughs> hey, my space still, if it was popping right now, I would be on it. But okay, but anyway. anyway. You'd be in my top eight, Draco. Okay, you like that? That's you and Tom with the t-shirt. All right, Zeb. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, y'all. Thank you for joining us. I'm Draco, so keep it right here to STL TV and Experience St. Louis. We'll see you next time. Peace and love, y'all. <laughs>